New DS3 Performance Line 2017 Review Sporty DS3 Performance Line looks the part, but it's pricey and the car is showing its age. Verdict 3 Star While DS's Performance Line upgrades don't really live up to the billing, the additional style inside and out will make it the DS3 a more tempting proposition for some. There's plenty of kit and this engine is our pick of the range, yet the interior is starting to feel dated and the DS3 doesn't manage to blend its entertaining handling with the refinement and composure of the best in the Super Mini class. Add in a price that makes a Mini look good value, and it's becoming tougher to recommend. DS might not have launched any brand new models since its separation from Citroen in 2015, yet the trim level expansion has been going great guns. The DS3 in particular is attempting to stay in the realms of desirability with range editions like the trendy Givenchy LE makeup and bold performance black editions. Now, there's a new performance line variant, and we're driving it for the first time. Performance line aims to bridge the gap between the regular DS3 and the 205 BHP DS3 performance, think BMW M Sport and Ford ST line, and you'll understand where DS is pitching its chart up hatch. It attempts to offer some of the racy design treatment from the performance hot hatch, but at a more reasonable price point and with lower running costs. As such, you can opt for a familiar range of turbo petrol and diesel engines with the DS3 performance line, kicking off with the 1.2 liter PureTech 110 manual. We've got the fastest choice in the range, which is the more powerful petrol with 128 bhp. Externally, there's not a lot to mark out the performance line trim. DS makes lots of noise about its success in the Formula E World Championship and how that inspires its road-going models but there's little evidence of that here. What you do get is a fresh color palette with a choice of 7 hues, plus contrasting black roof, alloy wheels, and mirrors. Some new DS performance logos, finished in red, white, and gold, are found all over the body and in the center of the alloy wheels. There are no physical bodywork changes to the DS3, though, with performance touches like the lowered suspension, bigger wheels, and chunky side skirts notable by their absence. Still, the DS3 remains an attractive Super Mini even without the extra garnish. In fact, the most notable change that performance line brings is found inside, with the adoption of new leather and suede effect Dynamica cloth seats with red and white stitching. The contrast stitched leather also makes its way onto the doors, gear gator, and wheel, while new badging on the seat backs and special metallic trim also features. The cabin additions are subtle yet smart, though the rest of the interior is starting to show its age. Those new seat covers don't alter the driving position, which doesn't cater at all well for those with longer legs. Nor does it affect rear headroom, which is tight for adults compared to most modern Super Minis. Practicality is fairly poor on the whole, with no cup holders and a near useless glove box. Cabin quality is generally good, with the glossy black dash trim a highlight, but it doesn't take long to uncover scratchy, hard plastics on the center console and doors. The touch screen is also frustratingly fiddly to use. PSA has proven with the new Peugeot 3008 that it now knows how to do user-friendly infotainment and the DS3S setup feels distinctly out of date as a result. Still, performance line models come with a strong equipment tally. The trim sits in between elegance and prestige, and comes with SAT NAV, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity, cruise control, climate control, and electric mirrors. So it should though this version costs nearly £19,000. The DS3S driving experience is another area where rivals have caught up. The 1.2-liter turbo petrol engine remains a highlight, it's flexible, torquey and efficient, and endows the Super Mini with a good turn of pace. It handles as well as ever, too, as there are no suspension changes to performance line models. However, it still isn't as entertaining or refined as a Mini Cooper, as road noise is intrusive and the ride, while not uncomfortable, 
lacks composure on rougher road surfaces. It's a decent enough package, but with cheaper and newer Super Minis consistently upping their game dynamically, DS's Star Super Mini is falling behind the pack. Key Specs Model, DS3 Performance Line Pure Tech 130 Price, £18,735 Engine, 1.2 liter 3 CYL turbo petrol Power, 1 to 8 bhp Torque, 230 nm Transmission, 6 speed manual, front wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 8.9 seconds Top speed, 127 miles per hour Economy, 62.8 mpg CO2, 105 g slash km On sale, now